All right, Ron, thanks. Well, tonight, parents and students are on alert after several threats across multiple school districts in the Ozarks. That includes two in 48 hours directed at Nixa schools. And after the recent school shooting in Georgia, everyone is taking these threats seriously. Charmel O'Dell spoke with some concerned parents. She joins us now live in the newsroom. Charmel. Well, both of those in Nixa have been labeled as unfounded threats, but many parents are concerned about the high frequency of the hoaxes, some even in fear of sending their kids back to school. These, these are our babies. For two parents, two school threats back to back hit just too close to home. I said, they got you out of there. You're safe. I said, there's nothing to be scared of um, the threat was just a threat. When it comes to a local scale, it really hits you quite differently. Investigators say these unfounded threats impact several other districts across the Ozarks and the state. Uh, in a similar similar method than as the threat from yesterday, uh, it was given to us uh, by 911 and it was received on a crisis line for veterans uh, through a through uh, chat or messaging type application. We're not the only district that is experiencing this. We've seen several of these. Investigators say every situation is taken seriously, unfounded or not. With these situations, it's a lot of time, energy and resources, but unfortunately, we can't short strike those efforts. In Nixa, the recent Possibly threats have, have left that? parents feeling uneasy. And it's not just about the words, it's the weight of uncertainty hanging over the community. As for tomorrow, I'm not sending my kiddos to school just out of fear. But not all parents share the same fears. Many are actively working to ease their children's anxieties. And, and we're going to have to have some serious conversations tonight. Now, if you see a threatening message on social media, do not repost it. Instead, notify local police or your school district immediately. In the newsroom, I'm Charmelle Odell, KY3 News.